Yes. U.S. Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle must resign. She was warned about this. She ignored the warnings. And then he doubles down. I want to repeat and can absolutely confirm the U.S. Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle has repeatedly turned down requests for a larger security footprint around President Trump, despite knowing the threat level is catastrophic. Resign tonight. This dovetails somewhat with the reporting from the Federalist Sean Davis, who said requests had been made by the Trump campaign to increase security and that DHS, which oversees Secret Service, had refused. Dan Bongino saying it was the Secret Service Director herself, Kim Cheadle, who said no. Um, where was she tonight? And what was her role in saying no to additional security for the most threatened man in America? To remind our audience, tonight in, but but in Butler, Pennsylvania, the former president of the United States was the attempted target, was the target of an attempted assassination. The bullet grazed his ear inches, if not centimeters away from his brain. This is an image from a video. I had to blur out, obviously, what we know as the thing that he used to try and take out Donald Trump. But this is him right there on the roof of that building lining, right up with Donald Trump. There's actually a video that you can find online if you go search for it, where somebody standing behind, find them, is yelling at the Secret Service, telling them that they see the guy on the roof, and the Secret Service does nothing before it's too late. Now, this is the diagram of where the building was that Thomas was on top of right there. And this is where the stage was, where Donald Trump was located at. So he had a direct line of sight to Donald Trump. This another view right here, the aerial view. That is where the stage was right there. And that building is where Thomas was located at. And then that white barn right there, that's probably where you've seen that Secret Service agent on the roof. He's the one that actually took Thomas out. Now, the FBI did have a press conference and didn't release any other information besides he is from the Pennsylvania area. He's 20 years old. And this is the man that tried to end Donald Trump's life. He has been taken out and he is unalive. And you know, that's a Nobody said nothing about it yet, but why is it on the Trump assassination stuff on the news? Why they keep covering up the water tower? They're either cutting the water tower out of the frame, or they're just like putting a white tag over it and trying to block it. Or don't look at this big tall water tower that we could have used. Here's two examples of them covering it up or cutting it out of the frame, and then I'll show you where the water tower's at. have eyes on top of the tallest structure that you can climb a ladder and get up there and then when you get up there you have 360 coverage and you can see on top clearly you can see on top of that building it's right there you can see the whole top of it why wouldn't you be there why why would the secret service only be on the smallest fucking building by the way with the the roof is tilted in a way where there's hardly no fucking coverage there ain't no coverage if somebody else is on top of the water tower but there what are you going to say? Well, how you know they didn't have someone on top of the water tower? Because the dude on the roof in front of it crawled up there with a gun. That's how you know nobody was on top of the water tower watching from the water tower. This is a maximum alert concerning the future of our country, our republic, and the world. The Secret Service stood down. It is the default to have Secret Service and or law enforcement on every rooftop up to a half mile out or further. Those rooftops were 450 feet away. No one was on the rooftops. That is not a failure of security. That is a stand down. Now, let's be clear. JFK gave the order to start the withdrawal of U.S. troops 
and one month later had his head blown off in Dallas, Texas in 1963 at Dealey Plaza. Trump has said he will end the war in Ukraine overnight. The U.S. funds 80 percent of it. He has that power. He's president of the United States. And I told you this week over and over again that they're going to try to assassinate him before the election. And then during the 79 days that he's president elect until he gets sworn in in January of 2025 is the 79 days of hell. The globalists have already said they're going to have civil unrest. They're going to call it a racial civil war. So let's be clear. Trump will now win in a landslide. No amount of fraud can override this. So if the deep state has already tried to kill him and indicted him and found him guilty and tried to take him off the ballot, what are they going to do? They are going to try to kill Trump. Now, listen to me carefully. I've studied the enemy. My predictions are 98% of the time accurate. And I'm saying this so we can be ahead of this and stop it. The next thing they're going to do is try to poison him and claim it's natural causes. It's going to be extremely, extremely uh, vigilant. They'll also try to use a truck bomb. Okay? And if he goes back out in public, the same Secret Service that stood down is going to do it again. Now, the average Secret Service agent isn't part of this, but it's from the top, from the Biden administration. Just by only giving him a few Secret Service, that would happen. But the fact that they didn't have law enforcement that augments them on the rooftops is just insane. That's the number one place that shooters come from is nearby rooftops. That's just a default fact. Ladies and gentlemen, they also haven't given RFK Jr. any Secret Service. They murdered his uncle and his father. The same deep state. So Trump is in maximum danger of poisoning truck bombs. The globalists might hijack a plane by remote control flight into Mar-a-Lago. I'm not being alarmist, and I know Trump's tough and has ice water in his veins, but Trump should be in a bunker at this point, and he should directly be charging the deep state for what they've done and call for governors to, to move, Congress to move, and to start dismantling the deep state right now. Uh, these people are not going to stop, okay? And I told you, if they kill Trump, the next move would be a truck bomb or something like that at a black church or a black college to blame it on Trump supporters. And, and you saw the media try to spin this for the first five, six hours saying it wasn't even an assassination attempt. They were ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. They were ready, and they were going to spin this. So I'm not being alarmist. I'm being a realist. And let me tell you something. They get Trump. They're coming after the Republican leadership that are good, the ones that are good. They're coming after Senator Paul. They've already tried to kill repeatedly. Remember the shootings and all the attacks? And they're going to come after Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, Alex Jones, and others because they know we won't sell out. And, of course, one other person is right up there with Trump on the hit list, and that's Elon Musk. And I told Elon he better get more security with Tucker Carlson a month ago. And uh, Musk responded and said, I, I agree. I think I'm going to up my security. Uh, if, if I was Musk, I'd be moving around all the time, which you know he already does. He's already had a couple people try to kill him this year. And you know they're winding up these mental patients right now. But I'm telling you, when the shooting doesn't work, they go to poisoning and they go to truck bombs. Or they remote control hijack a jet and fly around into your house. Okay? This isn't a game. This is 100% real. And people be, need to understand that. And all the new airplanes and all the new cars already have remote control systems in them. So I told people about this decades ago. They didn't even understand that it was possible, even though it was in most cars then. Now it's everything. So so they could take control of a vehicle. He's in by remote control. Everything is on the table, okay? This is 100% the most dangerous position our country's ever been in. And the globalists went full war with Russia. Remember, they already shot the Slovakian leader five times, and he barely lived. Uh, Orban you know, knows he's on a hit list because he's not a madman and he wants peace. Pray for President Trump. Pray for Elon Musk, pray for InfoWars, and be as active as you can right now and, and understand they've got operatives from the Secret Service and the feds all over talk radio saying, oh, we're going to find out what happened, the failure, we're going to fix it, he'll be safe next time. No, he's not safe. He's not safe. Okay? So the Secret Service, they gave the orders not to go on those rooftops, they need to be taken in and they need to be interrogated right now.